Good afternoon, folks. Oh my goodness, it's angles with dangles. Wait, wait, wait. I think there. I've gone for a new, a new angle. This is the preamble, adjusting the dangle. How about that? Maybe there. I'm, I'm actually using, I mean, if you imagine a laptop like that, uh, I'm, I'm using that. So I've got you in, in this bit, got you in the angle, got you in the angle, but that also means that the phone is pressing on the keys. Maybe there-ish, Chris. Sorry, I'm still angling with the dangling. Just playing kind a kind of havoc with um with the Mac. I think what I might need to do, oh my goodness me, is is log out of here. Look, if I do that and I do that, I'll do a shutdown. Because it's it's all going crackers on the keys, key crackers. Oh my goodness, now it's asking me if I want to save something. Here we go, a live shutdown of my Mac <laughs> on a new move. What's going on? Uh, no messages yet, so I'm just gleefully trying to sort out angle of dangle. Carolyn, afternoon, Super G, Chris. Wants me to do one of those false quit things. Shut down. Try again. Ah, finally. Okay, I'm good now. So I've shut it down, which means it's not playing crackers with the keys. So I think, I think I can do it. This, I've got a lot of, um, got a lot of ceiling and not a lot of floor. Oh no, it's coming on again. That's not what I wanted. Now it thinks I'm putting in the wrong password. Oh, me. It's not going well, folks, for me today. I'm having a bit of a... Cracking. I'm not making you feel seasick. Okay, let's replace the Mac for a good old-fashioned mug. I'll try that. I think that's it. We're there. We're there, we've gone for the good old fashioned mug. Finally, finally there. All right. Afternoon, Sandra. I have today, we haven't done this for a while. I'm going for a movement snacking shopping list. Oh no. Bit of memory call in there as well. You know, we like a bit of brainage. Here's the, here's the constructions for today's movement snack. Are you ready? Circulation boosting as usual. Uh, and then I've got five moves, but it's shopping list approach. So we do, we do the first move, then we do the second move, and then we do the first move and the second move, and I add the third, and then we go the first, the second, the third, and I add the fourth, and then there's one more, and then we do uh, the first, the second, the third, and the fourth, and I add the fifth. Of course, I have the luxury of the list. <laughs> so um, you get the extra brainage workout. I have the artistic and facilitator license to use the list. That's a bit of a cop out. I'm gonna, uh, um, and plus the list was came from my head, so uh, I've got the easier job. So are you ready, Doris, Sandra, Adil, Jillian with J, and I think Chris and Super G. Uh, Super G, thank you for your aurora or your aurora pictures. Can you say aurora? Aurora? Aurora pictures. Super G, thank you. Ready? 321 Bex Tanny, later live training. Friday's new movement snack. Shopping list approach. Were my constructions clear? 
I haven't got any comments, so I'm just I'm just rambling and saying roar because uh, the comments haven't come through yet. So uh, let's get with it, and then uh, hopefully they'll decide to appear at some point. So here we go. Uh, I'm by the wall today. External support. Uh, walls are great for external support. And did you see the preamble, uh, the pre-message video I put out today? That is. Apart from the fact it's incredibly, incredibly sweet and insightful and all those things, it really uh, just shows what a bit of external support can do. Go back and have a look. So use these supports so they give you more confidence to stand up, move more freely. They are, uh, they literally are a support. They're an assist. And if you don't need it, don't use it. Or you may be opting for seated even snack today. So pick your position, stand or sit, or mix between the two. Here's your prompts for standing. Support wherever you want it. I'm using the outside of arm here, just for a bit of contact. That may be all you need. Or it could be this way on, of course. Extra lift, check, gap between feet, start steady, stay steady. And this use of support, that touch, that's consider this it's a sensory input to your brainage so it, it's another it forms a it forms your base of support actually doesn't it so you've got all of this all of these feelings and sensations going back to your brainage that's inputting into how you stand and how you move so to so use this if you want to if you don't don't keep a gap between the feet extra length through your spinage uh, and then you can start to add in the other moving parts so it's a steady rhythmical walk on the spot but if you have the space uh, and you have clearance at the floor and clearance from the tower you can go for a, you can go for a wander if you want to either up and down the hall uh, or around the perimeter of your of your runway if you have one and of course, when you apply the circulation boosting approach to walking, all that adds to the practice of the movement pattern of walking as well. And um, what movement snacks bring over and above the physiological change is, is all the uh, repetition and learning. Oh my goodness, i oh, shut up. Here's your standing uh, seated options if you want. Have a hip walk forward. Everything I just said, all of that, all of the above and previous, Feet back a bit, get some bend through the feet if you're in sit and using legs. If you're not using legs, just accessing movement for the upper body. Extra lift and extend through the spine. Does that make any difference? Absolutely none. Or you might want to go diagonal. These three minutes or so of circulation boosting kind of activity is going to bring with it an increase in blood flow. Want that, benefits in that. Extra oxygen to your moving parts, want that, need that. Extra engagement through your posture muscles, yes. Movement from the shoulders, hips, knees, ankles, feet and toes. That's your circulation boosting. Are you ready, are you ready, are you ready for a shopping list? Maybe there. Is the heart gonna come? Is the heart gonna come? I don't know if it is. Can I send you some hearts today? Okay, hearts aren't on the shopping list, it seems, so you have to go without. Here's the first movement of the movement snack. Alternate steps. So you're just going to take one each of these. In stand, it will be feet hip width apart, after extra lift and extend. It will be a stride out and a foot placement, take the support with you on the left and on the right and back to base. If you're in sit, the same. If you're uh, wanting low limb activity, it's a step, return and a step. Or go for buttock squeeze, buttock squeeze. That's movement number one. Got it? Okay. Now here is movement number two. I called it the full body sock functional reach. From stand, hip width apart. From your most comfortable lowest point, imagine you're putting a body sock on. 
but, but actually it's just part of functional reach practice. So I'm going to take a knee bend and I'm going to go, I'm going to go from shin level. Here's the body sock, the body sock, the body sock, the body sock, like a, like a body tube and then out and down. But your body sock might start there or your body start, start sock might start from your knees. If it does, uh, aiming for a knee bend to get there um, as opposed to a, a hip hinge, right? In sit, your body sock can start from your knees or your body sock could start from ankles. Got it? Okay. So, it's shopping list approach. So now we go back to move one, back to move two, and then I'll add the third. Ready? So the first move was alternate step, one leg, the other. Or it could have been a buttock squeeze. Same in stand, alter, alternating leg. And it's up to you how much knee bend you add into that. Use the external support as you go. Then the second move was the full body sock. How big is your sock? It's functional reach, it's balance, it's range of motion, through shoulders, etc, etc. Which brings us into the third move, which is your, um, it's your chest stretch squeeze. So it's not so much a stretch, but it's the same position and it, it complements the full body sock because it goes extend and squeeze as if you're squeezing your, your hands round to your buttocks. Same in sit, have a hip walk forward to give you more space and back to base. So we've done three moves, I'm going to show you the fourth one and then we go back to one, two, three and four. The fourth one is over and out, over and out hip range. So in stand, if you're sideways on, you'll need to go one, and then you'll need to turn, 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 turn to do the other. Or you may choose to have the support to the front, in which case you can go over and out there and over and out there. Or you may opt to go for seated option, which either could be a lift shift left, sorry, a buttock shift right, or a hip walk forwards and back. Okay, back to the beginning. It's like, um, I call it a shopping list approach, because you have to keep looking at the list, don't you, if you write lists. Personally, I don't, I'm, a, I'm, I'm listless. But that's why I call it shopping list approach. Ready? So back to the first move, which was alternate steps, you're right. Step, heel strike to the front first, foot bend at the back. Same in sit or go for the buttock squeeze. That's your first move. The second move on the shopping list approach was full body sock, sit or stand, get your balance and then sweep through your most comfortable range of body sock into chest press squeeze, into over and out hip range. So that's either a shifty in the sit or balance, 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 over and out, over and out. Fifth move, are the hearts working yet? No. <laughs> heel drops is the fifth one so this is adding a bit of controlled impact so good for bones bones like this one and you've got your ankles feet toes and calves as well so it's heel drop a couple of heel drops or as many as you fancy you can take those in sit as well heel drops if you don't want the heel drops go for a shoulder roll okay those are all five moves. Back to the beginning. The first one was alternate step. The second one was just doing the seated as well. Uh, body sock, functional reach. So it's essentially taking you from lower level 
through to high and then the third move was into chest squeeze and then dand having a look at my list the fourth one was over and out hips so that if you're in sit could be a hip walk if you're in stand with or without support over and out and then heel drops to finish if you don't want your heel drops and you prefer focus on shoulder range one more time without me ready first move go what's the first one alternate steps into the second one there's your clue into the third one fourth one and fifth that's it did you do successful shopping today uh oh michael mjr in the house good to see you, michael bolton's in all right michelle is in also that was your shopping list folks you might want to add some um milk and cheese to that as well uh it counts as with you for the 4 p.m today we were on a sweet i was used to be on the 8 today but um had committed uh, committed to do something so i will see you in the morning possibly from lakeside somewhere a bit of swimmage on the, on the calendar tomorrow uh, that's it folks uh i hope those moves i hope you are sufficiently moved if you don't feel sufficiently moved go do some more add, add to your shopping list that's it bye for now